Hello, this is me again, uh, and I'm going to do a quick review of a film called Made in Manhattan. Okay, long story about this movie. Um, my mum dragged me to see this film in the cinemas. I had no interest in watching it. My mum, at the time, I was like, what, t 11 years of age at the time? And she dragged me to see this movie, and my late granny loved this movie too. So is it as good as it is? Let's check it out. Okay. So, a uh, quick synopsis, you've got this guy who's a senator, played by Ralph Fiennes, who, um, like, he's in, he, like, he's doing business, of course, and he meets this uh, single woman uh, called Marisha Ventura, played by Jennifer Lopez, who happens to be a maid in the hotel. Um, she's, of course, struggling with, like, you know, the pressures of, like, her ex-husband or boyfriend or whatever, like, doesn't show up um for her kids um thanksgiving recital and um she gets pissed off over it and of course one day anyway back to marissa by the way she um puts on these clothes belonging to someone else and ralph finds thinks that she is a guest called caroline so of course she has to keep up the fusque that she is this multi-millionaire heiress and um yeah will he know the truth in this cinderella fable tale well you have to find out um yeah this movie has flaws but having said that it's a cute movie um tyler posey is it the guy from teen wolf he plays uh marisha marissa's son um ty ventura he's the cutest little child i've ever come across he's like the matchmaker like he's the one that guy like, kind of like persuade his mum to go out with this guy, um, Chris Marshall, who is Ralph Fine's character, by the way. And, um, yeah, the only nitpick, and I've said this to my mum my late granny, the only nitpick I have is that there's a scene in this movie where um, Ralph Fine's character goes to the bathroom, does his, you know, does his usual business. He sees her in the flesh. She says, oh, sorry. And he's like, oh, yeah, thank you. And then he sees her again wearing the outfit and he just goes he's like bewitched she's like oh my god i want to be with this woman and i'm like okay if i was in his shoes i've literally been like this oh don't i remember you and she'd be like uh oh yeah i remember you um i was there in the bathroom when you had your when you were going to the bathroom my bad and he'd be like oh i knew you looked familiar but no they're just she does say, like, near the end, oh, you didn't see me. And I was like, hello, girl, you saw, you were eye contact. You seen each other. And he just acts like a total fucking lovelorn man. You're like, ah. Oh. Then there's, like, another scene which had me, like, scratching my head as well. Um, what is it again? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, the scene where um, there's, like, this ballroom scene that uh, Marisha, Marisha goes to. And the real Caroline Lane, played by the late Natasha Richardson, she sees Jennifer Lopez all dolled up and is like, oh, you must be Southern East Lane. And I'm like, hello, it's the maid. You should have said, wait a minute, I know you. Aren't you that maid girl? And she's like, oh, yeah, I'm the maid, all right. I am... Um, uh, I got an invite for this do because I'm, uh, you know, but then she would have feared she would have lost her job. Um, so, yeah, but yeah, there's a lot of scenes that have me going, what the name of God's going on? Um, but yeah, it's a real Cinderella tale. You know, you've got this woman who's a single mom all her life, rear rearing her child on her own, lives in this apartment in the, in, in the Bronx. That's where Jennifer Lopez, by the way, grew up from. Uh, she, like, you know, and she has this job as a maid um, in order to, you know, in order for her son to, you know, go to college and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a cute movie. You know, it's not the best. It's not up there, like, with, in my honest opinion, I think While You're Sleeping is better, in my honest opinion, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, if you're into fairy tale romances and if you're into silly contrived plots then you'll probably get a kick out of this um oh yeah another thing what really annoys me in this movie is ralph finds his accent he's the only one that has a different accent in this movie like you've got 
um, Bob Hoskins, for example, he's British. And he actually speaks in his own native tone. And Natasha Richardson is the exact same. Like, she just didn't put an American accent at all. Ralph finds, however, in his American accent, oh, good God. It's like as if he has a close peg stuck in his nose and goes, like this. Caroline? Caroline! Oh, Caroline! How are you, Caroline? Oh, Caroline, I love you, Caroline! Blah, blah, blah. And it's just really annoying. I mean, it's a laughable accent. I'm like, oh my god, why can he not speak in a British accent? He's all a native tone. Even though, like I said, even though um, half the time I was going, oh look, it's Voldemort and Jennifer Lopez. This is basically Voldemort before he became bad. <laughs> Every time I watched that movie. So um, yeah, it's a silly, silly movie. But for some straight, but it, it'll always hold a special place right here in my heart because my granny loved the movie, my mum loves the movie. Um, so yeah, overall I give it three or five stars. It's a cute, it's a cute movie to watch on a lazy Saturday night or a lazy Sunday afternoon. So um, yeah, that's it for me. Um, I will, like I said before, in my other reviews, I will be doing more reviews. Uh, I'm planning to redo the last Christmas review again because the last review I did was terrible, by the way. Um, so yeah, I will be doing that uh, near near the Christmas season, and I'll probably do more movie reviews as well. Um, so yeah, be sure and check them out. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button, and until next time, take care.